self-portrait with hints of Asperger's. I remember learning to smile. I must have been 11 or so, and I read an article in the newspaper about the latest research on smiles. A smile that showed your teeth and involved the eyes. That was what people trusted. So I practiced in the mirror till I got it right. Got the smile I still use today. A happy grin that crinkles up my eyes. I smile a lot, partly because I'm happy or amused quite a bit, but also because it become, it became my policy to smile when I was 11. I had decided I needed to engage with people and that was to be one of my tools. It's an important tool when you're slow and awkward of speech. If you smile and nod and are responsive, people don't notice that you're not saying much. I've been reading just a bit about autism and Asperger's syndrome. I recognise myself immediately. Way over on the light side of it, I can simulate normalcy for as long as I like. Nonetheless, I'm not normal. Most people don't learn to smile from a newspaper and have to make a conscious decision to engage with other people. Most people have not spent hours at a time counting in binary under their breath or weeks patiently rolling dice in order to randomly generate millennia of genealogies for imaginary dynasties faced with making thousands of similar edits in hundreds of files I have to force myself to use my software skills and do the job in a few minutes I would much prefer to spend hours doing it by hand it's the kind of task that absorbs me that sets my deep obscure longing to participate in orderly patterns I've always been affectionate, a little cuddle bum, my mother used to call me. I'll hug anyone who stands still for it. The casual contact of hair cutters or dentists' hands delights me. This impulse is so strong in me that I suspect it's hardwired. Not long after we got together, Martha recalled that when I had first proposed a back rub to her, she thought I was trying to seduce her. That was before I knew, she said, that for you sex was as likely to be a pretext for massage as massage a pretext for sex. Small talk, however, like smiling is something I had to learn. While unlike smiling, it's never become second nature. If people want human contact, why don't they just nestle together? If they want to establish mutual affection, why don't they just say, I'm fond of you? What do the weather, the iniquities of the government or the daily news have to do with anything? I do my best, but it all seems terribly roundabout and inefficient. And I don't think I ever really get the hang 